These are my babies. All right, I really hope I'm in frame. That would be very awkward if I'm not. I'm kind of doing this a different setup because I'm finally giving you what you all want. <laughs> Hey friends, my name is Miranda and welcome to my universe. Today I am finally listening to basically everybody um, and doing a bookshelf tour. Now this is my first ever bookshelf tour I've done on my channel after I believe three years. And yes, I know I look like I just rolled out of bed, but you know what? You're not even going to be looking at my face the majority of this video. You'll be looking at the beautiful books that I have in my room. <laughs> I have always kind of pushed this video off to the side just because, well, many different reasons. One, I never had a ring light for the longest time. I actually recently got a ring light in the past few months. I also think I avoided doing this video just because my shelves are all over the place in my room. Basically, this will feel like a room tour <laughs> instead of just a bookshelf tour because I literally have this shelf. I have this one right here. I have another one right in front of me. I have another one in this other corner of my room. And then I have two mini shelves that hang on the walls above my bed. So yeah, <laughs> but I finally decided to just break down and give you this video because I've wanted to do a bookshelf tour for a really long time and I'm actually really proud of where my shelves are right now. Well, most of them. <laughs> Despite it being super late at night, I think it's about time that I filmed it. So welcome to my bookshelf tour 2021 if I end up making this in the next coming years as well. Now I do want to say I don't enjoy watching bookshelf tours. That's also probably another reason why I haven't filmed one, just because they tend to run really long. Like every bookshelf tour video I watch is at least 20 to 30 minutes. I'm not going to go through every single book I have on my shelves. Instead, what I think I'm going to do is just show you the shelf, talk about the things that are on the shelf besides the books, because I do have like decorations and whatnot. I'll point certain books out, like my favorite ones, my least favorite ones. We're gonna trim it down a little bit shorter that way and I hope that it will make it less boring for those of you who are like me, who don't really like to watch bookshelf tours. But then again, I could be the only person who thinks bookshelf tours tend to be really long. So <laughs> comment down below what you want next time, what I can fix, what I can change, different things like that. I'm always living and learning. I'm still figuring all of this out. So anyway, Let's get started, shall we? I think I want to start with this shelf. All right, friends. So this bookshelf that you are viewing right now is my favorite shelf. We're just going to call it that. It has many different names. At one point, it was my rainbow shelf. At another point, it was my favorites shelf. This is the only shelf in my room that I am constantly changing. I am constantly switching the books out of. I would bet money that in almost every single one of my videos, the books are different. But as you can see right now, I have a lot of series up here, a lot of kind of just random books that have similar authors. So we have like Marissa Meyer on this side, then we have Sarah J Mass, and then of course we have Stalking Jack the Ripper. And then we have a lot of Cassandra Clare books and then Six of Crows, honorary Six of Crows over here. And then as you can see, we have my Garfield Salt and Pepper Shakers. Um, something random that you probably didn't know about me is that I collect salt and pepper shakers. So there's that. And then the sign in the middle is actually a sign that I painted myself. Um, that was back in a phase where I really liked to paint wood. So um, there's that. I was really, really proud of that one. All right, so now we're going to move on to the next shelf. We're going to move to this shelf that you see right when you walk into my room. So this is quite an interesting one. Okay, so this shelf is a little bit awkward just because it is right in front of my door. So it's a little crammed back here. But anyways, here is the long view of my shelves right when you walk into my room. It's literally right here. Honorary mention, um, my avatar map that my cousin gave me. I'm absolutely in love with it. Anyways, moving on. So this top shelf up here has absolutely no rhyme or reason to it. It's just kind of random. I have a lot of my favorite books up here, actually. Ready Player One, great. Truly Devious, great as well. Uh, Blood for Blood and Wolf by Wolf. Actually, those should be switched because Wolf by Wolf is the first one. But Ryan Grodden, 
absolutely love that author. She is incredible. Definitely recommend. And then we have my creepy SpongeBob, who I absolutely love and adore and would die for. Keep that in mind. And then my reading bunnies, which I am also in love with. Then if you look down here, this is one of my classic shelves. My heart string lights up here that I put up one Valentine's Day. I believe it was two years ago and I never took them down. Moby Dick by Herman Melville. This one is my prized possession. This is the most expensive book I own. Um, it's kind of ridiculous the amount of money I spent on this book. We will not be talking about it, but it is my favorite. I absolutely adore it. This next bookshelf down is my second classics shelf. I absolutely adore this one as well. This one has a lot of cute little Alice in Wonderland knickknacks that I absolutely love. Some honorary mentions are Edgar Allan Poe's Tales of Terror and Madness. Absolutely love the cover of this one. My best friend gave this one to me. And of course, we mustn't forget Grey's Anatomy. I actually found this one at Goodwill for literally $3, and I love it, and I think the illustrations are so pretty inside of it. And this next bookshelf down. This is when it starts to get a little bit messy. This one is kind of a random one as well. We have my bookmark mug which has a plethora of different bookmarks. And we have my cute little dog with a bow tie and a top hat, and I'm absolutely in love with him. So down here, we have some honorary mentions. We have Caraval, which is one of my favorite young adult series. We got Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, which I still need to catch up on. I've only read the first three. Morgan Madsen, absolutely love her, as well as Rachel Hollis. And then last but not least, we have my outcast shelf. This is the one that is kind of all over the place. I don't really pay attention to this one, which is a little bit sad, but it's fine. As you can see, we have a lot of things going on down here, and then a lot of things going on in my Cheshire mug. I literally have a Elmer's glue stick in here, um, as well as my bug stress ball. So, um, so down here we have literally just random books that collect themselves. All right, Time for a different shelf. Now this shelf is another one of my absolute favorites just because it is very, very organized through and through. I love looking at this one a lot. So this top shelf has a lot of cute little knickknacks on it. We have my SpongeBob, which I absolutely love, and my Fox, and my Herondale candle, which we're just not even gonna talk about my William Herondale obsession, okay? Okay. As you can tell, this is my Cassandra Clare bookshelf. Now, obviously I have other Cassandra Clare books kind of scattered around my room, but this is the one where all of the paperbacks are on for the most part. Then we have my Stephen King bookshelf. Um, yes. One of my all-time favorite shelves, no doubt. I have two Stephen King shelves. This is my first one that I created months and months ago. I am absolutely in love with it. As you can tell, we actually have Stephen King himself standing right there. We love him. Some honorary mentions um, besides uh, all of them would be It, one of my favorites, Chef's Kiss Amazing. We also have Duma Key, Under the Dome. Under the Dome is the scariest book I've ever read in my life. Then next shelf down is also a cute one in my opinion, but this one is just a majority of young adult series that I own, such as The Darkest Minds, The Legend series, Delirium, and Cinder. And then we have, of course, my cute little uh, Cinder candles. We have Diego from Umbrella Academy and Steve Heron de no, no, no not Herondale, Harrington from Stranger Things, my two TV show boyfriends. And then down here we have my cute unfortunate shelf as I like to call it anyways, just because it mostly consists of my boxed set of a series of unfortunate events, but we also have some random Rick Riordan books over here. And then we have my <laughs> Dwight Pop doll, my Mabel from Gravity Falls Pop doll, and then my dad's pug. I believe he's from Men in Black, but um, he's he, he does smoke. He's a sophisticated dude. My dad doesn't know I have him, so. Sorry, dad. Last but not least on this shelf, we have my wizard shelf. I really like this one a lot, actually. I have my wand right here. I believe it is Hermione's wand. And then we have Luna Lovegood herself, Hermione Granger. My Mortar's Map, which opens up and is pretty amazing. Um, all thanks goes to Christian for giving me this. And then we have my Harry Potter boxed set, as well as my V.E. Schwab books and more J.K. Rowling. 
all magic. Hence why it is my wizard kind of shelf. And then if we look slightly over here, we have, don't mind the lotions, but we have my Bibles. I avidly collect Bibles. I have a few more that are not right here, but here are my three favorites. Let's move on. Moving straight along, we have my other long, tall bookshelf. This one has a antique typewriter at the top, which I'm absolutely obsessed with. Um, and then we kind of go down... This first shelf used to be a to be read shelf or my TBR shelf, but I actually have read the majority of the books that are on here at the moment. I really like this sign. My mother got it for me when I graduated. I absolutely love it. And then we have my cute little dog figurine, which looks just like the first dog I ever had. Her name was Almond and I love and cherish this. Some honorary mentions on this would be the woman in the window, which is turning into a movie. I need to see it. I absolutely love it. My mom loves this book as well. As well as The Inheritance Games. Shout out to Tori for giving me that book. I'm absolutely in love with it. And In Plain Sight by someone who actually is in a class of mine currently. Stay tuned for a video soon to come out about that one. All right, and then moving on to another one of my favorites. We have my second Stephen King shelf. We also have my jar with my Vox. Some honorary mentions, of course, would be The Institute, which is my favorite Stephen King book that I've read so far. And then actually, surprisingly enough, the only other Stephen King book that I've read on this shelf is Pet Cemetery. And randomly sitting on my dresser, because they actually don't have a home as of yet, would be The Stand and Needful Things. The Stand I am currently reading and Needful Things I bought recently. Moving on to this next shelf, this one is also pretty pretty random. Um, we have Twilight hiding behind my candle. And then this next shelf is actually another one of my favorites just because it holds a lot of my favorite books. Behind my dog clock, which actually doesn't work, sadly. I need to change the batteries out of it, but it's so cute. It's little tail wags when the time goes. Yeah, I probably should put a new battery in it. We have my Rick Riordan-ish collection. At least we have Heroes of Olympus. Percy Jackson is elsewhere. We have Death Note, Two Can Keep a Secret, Animal Farm by George Orwell, some of the classics up here, different things like that. Now there is another shelf under this one, but I'm actually not going to show you it because I have a lot of yearbooks on there. I will show you this book basket that I have. Um, it's quite self-explanatory, really. It's just books that I recently have bought or obtained or have been given. These all I got at thrift stores or from some of my friends. And then last but certainly not least, we have this shelf that is above my bed. There is another one that I will show you. Sorry if the camera's shaky. I am on my bed, so it's a little wonky right now. But we have one of my other Lunar Chronicle candles, my change jar, and then we have my Game of Thrones and Narnia. <laughs> and then straight down from that, we have this other shelf. We have my Percy Jackson series here. And then as you can see, I do own a second set of the Chronicles of Narnia, just because I love it that much. <laughs> all right, folks. And that's a wrap. Thank you all so much for watching. I know that video was kind of all over the place, and I'm sorry about that. But I hope you enjoyed looking at all my shelves, all the books that I own. I recently counted the books that I have, and I have around 380. Thank you all so much for watching. I love you so much. Please be safe, make good choices, and I'll definitely see you next time. Bye!